back to Uncorked, everyone. I'm your host, Bobby, and today we are going to be talking about a new wine product that the company I work for just picked up. This is called Skyfall. It's out of Washington State. Um, this, these wines are made by Nicole Walsh. Um, Nicole Walsh has been making wine for 23 years, um, including when she got her start was at the iconic Bonnie Dune Winery out of California. Love to support other women, especially when it comes to wine. So just to get started, this all comes from Washington State from Columbia. She's got four wines in this lineup. The first one is gonna be this beautiful and stunning Chardonnay. And this is aged in 85% um, French oak that's two years old. The newer the oak is, so fresh new oak, you're gonna get more of those vanilla, cinnamon, clove. You're still gonna get a little bit, but because it's two years old, so it's been used for two seasons or two vintages, it's not gonna give you quite as much. The rest of the oak used is going to be neutral, so it's very nice, it's delicate, it's not overly done, um, it's got great acidity, it's a beautiful product. It is created in a rain shadow, so what that means is these wines are made um, around the Cascade Mountains, and that mountain creates a block where it gives basically gives these wines a better growing conditions because Washington State as a whole is actually a very hot, dry climate and they don't usually get a ton of rainfall. So these actually only get about six to eight inches of rain. Um, so you're getting a lot more flavor in these because they're really having to dig through that dirt and into the vines. So next we have the Merlot. Y'all know I love Merlot. It is having a renaissance. A lot of people say they don't like it. I say give it another try. Maybe you haven't had the right ones. Maybe go up a little bit on your price point um, because Merlot is very delicious and a lot of people don't realize that most of the Cabernet Sauvignons you're drinking are blended in with Merlot. A lot of people who love Bordeaux from France um, most of the ones that we see in Mississippi are going to be from the right bank where they are actually mainly Merlot and Cabernet Franc, not even Cabernet Sauvignon. So I say give Merlot another shot. This one is one of my absolute favorites. It's delicious. Again, new to Mississippi. So then we have this amazing red uh, red blend. Red blends are a hot category right now. They continue to grow every single year. It's just getting bigger and bigger. So this is going to be 85% uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, which is actually enough for them to legally in Washington State just call it a cab. Uh, but because they're blending a few different grapes in there, they just slap a blend on the label. So it's 85% cab. It's going to have 10% Syrah and then 5% Merlot. So next we have the Cabernet Sauvignon. Like I mentioned with this one, you only have to have 85% to label it in Washington. This is gonna be 85% Cabernet Sauvignon. The remainder of the blend is gonna be Syrah and that's gonna give that a little bit more body and some flavors that they like in the Syrah wine. I've had a lot of people reach out to me this summer asking why the wines they typically drink aren't tasting the same. It only takes 10 to 15 minutes to cook a bottle of wine in your car. So that means if you were to stop at the liquor store and then run into Kroger, by the time you leave Kroger, your wine is cooked. It's not gonna taste the way it's supposed to. It's gonna have very muted, um, cooked, stewed flavors. It's gonna taste very off. So maybe that's what's happening to your wine, especially if it's one you've drank quite often. Just remember that these wines are not made to withstand temperatures over 80 to 80 degrees. And the inside of a car when it's not running, especially in Mississippi, can reach over 150 degrees. So get your wine after Kroger, not before, and take it immediately home. Thanks y'all, and I'll see y'all next time. Cheers.